drugs being smuggled into jail is nothing new, but some of the ways inmates are doing it may surprise you. Target 7 investigative reporter Nancy Laughlin found out just how creative convicts can be when they want their fix. Tall fences, 11 locations, 7,000 residents, lots and lots of security, including this guy. Sit. Meet Max. You might call him the neighborhood pooch. Yep. Oh, what a good dog. He works what the intelligence speed at the New Mexico Corrections oh, Department. S stick that right there. Find you good. It's his job to find drugs, and he's good at it. Max's partner, Victor Turner, tells us these days inmates and their peeps on the outside are getting pretty creative when it comes to getting all kinds of drugs in here, like this. It's a sonogram mailed to an inmate congratulating him on becoming a daddy. But take a closer look. When you peel the paper apart, those orange strips are drugs. While we were visiting the prison in Los Lunas. And when we inspected it, we the found. Mm -hmm. Look at how hard it is to see. Officer Turner showed us what he just found in the mail room. N8 identifier for Suboxone there. Suboxone, a drug used to treat opiate or heroin addiction, has become incredibly popular in New Mexico prisons and jails. It's legally prescribed on the outside, but not in here. The inmates will call their families and say it's not a big deal, just bring it to me. And they don't even know what they're doing sometimes. But what they're doing is a felony. They could face criminal charges. They will face criminal charges. And it's not just drugs that can land you in hot water in this joint. How about chewing gum? Chewing gum is contraband in here because you can make a key mold out of it. Things like that that the average person doesn't even think of. Even cigarettes are illegal behind these walls because cops say they can lead to brawls. We have a lot of men living in a small confined area. So when you have them and they get mad at each other, they start to fight and cause other issues. Cell phones are a big concern too. Inmates can use them to contact their victims, carry out scams, or worse. They could try and order a hit on an officer. These officers work one of the hardest speeds in New Mexico. So every day, intelligence officers like Max and Victor search this place, their neighborhood, to try and keep this stuff out. If you brought it to an inmate and we find out, will happily welcome you to our prison system as a new inmate. Their gated community. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.